before you hit up the lakes this weekend, folks, or this summer, rather, make sure that you and your family stay safe on the lakes here in New Mexico. Here to talk about boating safety and swimming safety is Toby Velasquez, Chief of Boating and Law Enforcement with New Mexico State Parks. Toby, thanks for coming and staying with us all morning, getting us ready for summer. So let's talk about some of the boating safety basics. Before we hit the lake, what do we need? Best thing is get prepared. Mm -hmm. Know your weather. Be educated, take a class. They're free, they're online or okay. in person. Uh, wear your life jacket mm -hmm. and don't operate under the influence of drug or, drugs or alcohol. If you do those four things, you're gonna have a great time on the water, you're gonna create some great memories. Great, okay. Well, let's let's break some of these down a little bit. Let's first talk about the life jackets. What do you recommend, uh, let's say it's the whole family we're buying for the kids, buying for ourselves. Are there any certain things that we need to make sure that the life jacket has? Definitely, they have to be US Coast Guard approved life jackets. Okay. And all you do is when you go to any box store, they, they sell them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the really cool thing about life jackets nowadays, it's not what we used to wear back in the day. Right. I mean, they're, they're fashionable, they're light, they're mm -hmm. not hot and they're really saving people's lives. Mm -hmm. So when you go and you look at buying a life jacket, get one that's fit for your body, mm -hmm. and then get one that's U.S. Coast Guard approved. Okay. And once you have it, wear it. Yeah. Wear your life jacket, on, it'll at, save your on, life. At all times. That's right. You're on the water, have that life jacket on, especially make sure that the kiddos have it. Yes, yeah. definitely. Absolutely. Kids 12 and under, it's mandatory. 12 and under, it is mandatory, that's good to know. Now, in terms of taking the boat out, are there certain times that we can and cannot have our boats out on the lake? Well, you know, New Mexico, the saying is, wait five minutes, the weather will change. Yeah. And that's really what we want people to understand is, when you're getting prepared or when you're out on the water, be mm -hmm. aware of weather, because that's gonna challenge you. Right, right, absolutely. So, uh, what, what are some of the challenges? The weather starts to turn, uh, of course, monsoon season right around the corner, might be actually coming sooner rather than later this year. Storm hits, what should we do? Best thing is find a place of safety. Okay. Uh, a dock, a marina, a mm -hmm. cove that's you know out of the wind, mm -hmm. uh, a shoreline, try and get off of the water. Because once that wind gets blowing, it can really challenge operating skills, yeah. and that's where people run into some big problems. Okay. Now, of course, uh, another thing a lot of people do, they get out on the boats, they have a pontoon boat or something, they, they take out you know alcohol, they pop the tops. What are the rules when it comes to drinking and boating? What we like to say is from the road to the water. Mm -hmm. We, you know, we don't tolerate DWI in New Mexico. We don't tolerate BUI in New Mexico, mm -hmm. boating under the influence. Um, if you're a motorboat operator on the water, if you're operating a boat, mm -hmm. you cannot be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The mm -hmm. other people on your vessel can partake in, in that activity. Mm -hmm. However, we want operators to remain sober. Mm -hmm. And you know, what better than to be sober out on the water? You have to deal with so many different things out in an open environment. Mm -hmm. You really need all of your facilities with you at that time. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people out there too enjoying it when the weather is nice and the water is up. Now, uh, let's talk just very quickly about swimming safety. Uh, are there certain areas that when we go out to like the Butte or we go to Conscious Lake or something that we should be uh, swimming in and places that we should be avoiding? Definitely, uh, where there's our staff help facilitate swimming in areas where there's less boater traffic, mm -hmm. kind of in no wake zones. No wake uh, zones. Right, okay. so swimming is, is very important. But the biggest thing we see with swimming is they need to have a life jacket on because it's not a swimming pool. Right. The water's colder, it's you know murky at sometimes, there's floating debris, there's wind wave action, mm -hmm. wear a life jacket. And the big thing, never lose supervision of kids. Yeah. Keep them close, keep an adult assigned to them because things change in an instant yeah, out in sure a natural do. environment. They absolutely do. Well, these are great tips. Toby, thank you again so much for coming in, keeping us safe out on the water. And for more information on this, head over to Casa.com. Click on the Casa blog. We'll be right